Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 4th through January 10th. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you, so this reading may or may not be for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest, and the timing is still fluid, okay? So what do we have for Leo? The week ahead. Ah, the magician. So the magician is as above, so below. You may be getting something that you asked for, okay? You're manifesting something, that is for sure. This is you being in control, uh, talking with the universe. You have a divine connection. They hear you. The universe hears you. Um, you're going to be getting a golden opportunity. It's in the process right now. It's in the process of arriving to you. All right. Um, you have all the resources that you need to be successful. So success is coming. Okay. You're in control. You have the power right now. The power is in your hands. So this is taking action to bring success, manifesting something. They hear you. They hear you. You're going to be getting, you're going to be receiving something, a golden opportunity. Your actions are bringing you something. You, you've asked for it. You've manifested it. It's coming. What is it? Well, we're going to get one more. You know, the magician is being, is willing to shed the old to bring in the new. And because you're willing to do that, you're going to, you're going to be getting something that you asked for. Okay. Scales. Keep your life in balance. Fly. Ooh. A period of ill health or depression. December. December is very prominent. Something started in, that's when you started it. That's when you started this manifestation. That's when that's when it was starting. That's when you asked for it. It's coming now. I feel like the period of ill health is in the past. And now you need to keep your your uh, life in balance right now. Now, this is when you think about scales, you think about justice. Okay, you think about getting what you deserve. So, yes, you're going to get what you deserve. All right. And I think it's very positive. This is a very positive energy. Okay. So something that you manifested in December, you, you were thinking about it, you were calling it in, you may have thought it was never going to happen, you may have been depressed, but I think, you know, your thoughts become things, okay? Um, you're about to get something that you deserve. Oh, I don't know, mm, Ten of Pentacles, so this is comfort, stability, long term. This could have to do with a home, it could have to do with a business, could be a business deal, a, a a new home, um, long-term stability, whatever it is, this is success. Family support, you could be starting a new family, starting a new business, getting together with somebody that could be the one that could lead to forever, because this is the one, the magician is the one, this is a happy home, a happy relationship, I, I mean, this is having it all. This is comfort. It is extremely comfortable. This is uh, you getting what you wished for, something permanent, abundant, very, very, very abundant. There could be a, a new home, I think I already said that, a new establishment here. Or some sort of money that is coming to you. You may be getting some money. King of Wands reversed. The devil. Oh boy. There could be a sale of a home even. There could be. 
um, where you get some sort of money or a sale of some sort of possession or something like that. Um, but the devil is unhealthy. It's toxic. There's a need to break free from something right now. You may be breaking free from something. You may be. Um, something you have been codependent on. There's been materialism. There's been greed. There's been ego. And there could be some anger this week with the with the King of Wands. This is angry. And, and you know, typically the King of Wands can be your energy. Okay, there's anger. anger. This could be depression, lack of self-confidence, you know, um... Fear, fear of, of I don't know, maybe even some consequences. I don't know what it is, but you think about justice, there could be consequences. When you get the King of Wands in reverse, there's, there's a need to be confident. There's a need to be positive. Don't let negative thinking, you know, get in the way of your abundance because you have some abundance that is coming in. Trust me, it is. Don't, don't let your lack of self-confidence, uh control you okay because this is control and this is lack of self-confidence it's it's um it could be depression it could be ill it could be this card right here the illness i mean the king of wands reversed is uh unreasonable unrealistic uh angry upset um impulsive doesn't see things, lack of foresight. You may not see this. You may not see something, but the universe hears your thoughts, okay? They hear your thoughts, and you do have some sort of prosperity coming that is going to lead you towards something that is very comfortable, okay? It's going gonna, it's gonna to make you comfortable. It's going to help you in some way. But there's 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 some something that you are tied to that you need to let go of, okay? There's something that is toxic and unhealthy here that you need to let go of. You need to let go of the control. It feels like you're trying to control something. Let go of the control. Let go of the control. It could be an old relationship, okay, with that Ten of Pentacles. You need to let go of the control. Ace of Swords. Now this is taking a new approach. Get it, getting a new idea. This is also a cord or a sword that severs the ties. Okay, as I say in the cord, because I was looking at the devil, that's cords that need to set or ties that need to be severed. This is the sword that severs the ties. You need to sever ties. And I feel like you're having a hard time doing that. I feel like you are. I feel like you need to take action right now. This, this is laziness. Okay, this is laziness. It's complacency. It's not doing anything. Take action right now because you have something. They're, they're listening to you. They, they know what you want. You know, they're trying to bring you what you want, but you have to have the strength and the courage and the willpower and the determination to sever ties from this toxic situation. So you have a toxic situation that you are wanting to not let go of the control over but in order for you to get what you really want you have to sever ties with it you know what i'm saying you can't try to control this other person or this other situation you have to you have to sever it okay you have to be honest with yourself this is the sort of truth you have to and acceptance you have to accept the truth of a situation, of somebody's toxicity, of, you know, of who they really are. Because whenever you got involved with whoever this person was, the devil isn't who they say that they are. The devil's ruled by the shadow, okay? What you see is not what you get. So I think that you need to sever ties with this energy or this person or whatever it is that you are trying to... Um, keep control over you know it's, it's ego it's our pride it's our pride devil is ego and pride it's our pride and this is too extreme pride the king of wands reverse it is you have you, you may have to swallow your pride you know and sever the ties even if you know it hurts 
So anyway, I feel as though you have a golden opportunity for long-term stability here. But remember, it's interesting. I said at the beginning, the magician has to be willing to shed the old to bring in the new. Here we got the old. You need, you need to sever ties with. You need to accept the truth. You need to take a new approach. You need to have confidence and strength and courage to, to break it. To break free from this situation. willpower queen of cups four of wands so some of you have experienced a breakup you've experienced a separation of some sort that probably broke your heart you know there's been some heartbreak here you know um this is like the end of an engagement the end of a marriage this party is over this is a messy situation there's there's heartache there's sadness there's grieving over a, a relationship that you were probably comfortable in you may have had a home with this person you know I don't know but it feels like you you are going to be you know if you think about the magician taking action to bring success okay this is doing something about it you have to do something about your future um I do see sadness here I see tears crying crying over a relationship that didn't work out um needing to focus I think that you've lost sight of your goal I think that you need to hold your head up high you need to be honest with yourself you need to take a new approach <clears throat> oh five of wands reverse you need to stop stop playing stop playing games with whoever this person is you've been playing games with somebody you been it takes more than one person to play games and you're right in it you're playing the game with a person that is playing other games with other people. You need to stop playing the game. Remove yourself from the competition. It feels like we, uh, we that you are be trying to be highly competitive. You know, you're a very highly competitive person, right? Leos are. It's time to remove yourself from the competition. Unless your pride and your ego is too big to do so. The only reason people engage in competition is to win. And the only reason they want to win is to feed their ego. This is ego. I do feel as though you are going to be taking a new approach. I feel like you are going to remove yourself from this competition. And you are going to be, you may be signing a new contract this week. I feel like you are going to be doing something that does sever ties. Because you're ready. You're ready for success. You're ready for something permanent. You know what you deserve. It's clear that you do. Ace of Cups, this has been very sad. This is a sad situation. I think it's for some somebody here has been drowning in their emotions. There's been a lack of emotional content. This is sad. There's been some sort of uh, self-loathing going on. You know, self-love is needed. You have to love yourself more than anybody else. You have to do what's right for you. I feel like this week you're going to be in your emotions. You're going to be feeling some sort of emotional discontent over a separation, okay? This is the end of a commitment, the end of a marriage, the end of an engagement, the end of a party. You know, this party is over. This is a messy situation. It's very, very sad. It's disheartening. You need to hold your head up high, take a new approach, remove yourself from the game, and I think that's what you're doing. I think it's sad. It, it is. It is sad with the Ace of Cups reversed. 
But I think it's time for you to shut this person down. Stop letting them hurt you. swords painful stressful decision this week you're going to be making a decision and I think it's a stressful one I think that you have been trying to block your emotions you've been pushing something down but now it's time to face your fears I feel like you've been torn in two different directions you've been really struggling as to which way to go You've been, you've been unable to accept the truth or see the truth or uh, not wanting to. This has just been a huge headache to you, you know. It's like you're being told to go or you're being told to do something. It feels like you're being attacked and you're just, it's a, it's a serious struggle. Look at it. It's like you're, you're hearing it from every angle. You've got to do this. You've got to do this. You've got to do this and you haven't been listening. You know what you've got to do. You gotta take action to bring yourself yourself comfort and stability. So this is the week where perhaps you can't take it anymore and you have to take action. It is time to take action. You have to sever these ties. That means blocking something. Remove yourself from the playing field. So I feel like this is the week where you make a painful, stressful decision. I think it's been overwhelming. I think that you've been torn as to whether you should or not. Because I think that you had deep feelings for whoever this person was. You probably lived with them. But now you're taking your power back. Because that's what the magician does. This is the end of ill health and depression as soon as you take action. So this week you take action. You can't take it anymore. I feel like you've reached the point of this is too much. It is way, way, way too much. You may be giving somebody a wake-up call this week. You're not playing their game anymore. It will require blocking. Some of you may be dealing with a bank with that Ten of Pentacles. And there could be a call here. I don't know. But there is definitely a toxic, unhealthy situation that needs to end. We start with a magician and we end with a magician. This is taking action to bring success. You have the resources. You have the power to break free from this situation. So yeah, I feel like this week you're going to be telling somebody something you're going to be saying something this is communication you know, this is a wake-up call of some sort a major awakening so somebody's about to get a wake-up call you're leaving the past hurts behind you're on the path to recovery so i feel like this is a week where you take your power back from an individual that has had some sort of control over you It's like you are willing. You are willing. You can't take this anymore. You're done. So Leo, I feel like you're in the you're in the driver's seat and I don't need the chariot to see that. I feel like you are in charge. You are taking charge. 
you are uh, taking a new approach, right? You are. And this happens, this is a very, this is like, I, I keep seeing the lightning here and the lightning here. So it happens very fast. Something happens really, really, really fast. There could be a spur of the moment decision, you know. It's just like, you know what? I'm done playing games with you. This is like an epiphany moment. So yeah, something could also happen that makes you very angry. That This is impulsive, yeah, that makes you act and do something. You could do something very, very quickly. It's like, you know what? <laughs> you want to fight with me? I'm done fighting with you. So anyway, I think this is the week where you decide, maybe you file for something, you know, with the scales, you know, I don't know what it is, maybe it's a divorce, the four of wands, may have something to do with a home because of the ten of pentacles, um, justice, karma, court, decisions. So yeah, you're going to be making a decision to get your life back in balance. Good luck.